everyone, MarshW13 here with another aviation video, and today I am playing X-Plane Mobile. Massive multiplayer, which uh, is a feature that uh, had passed the beta stage and now having been incorporated into the main product stream, I continue to enjoy it even more, although I still participate in these... Uh, daily fly-ins where they pick a specific airport and uh, they get as many players to uh, interact in that environment as possible. And today uh, was a sentimental favorite for me, Kastrup Airport, which uh, is the main international airport in Copenhagen, Denmark. And I've certainly flown into that airport as a uh, passenger before. Winds at the airport are out of 215 degrees, so basically south southwest at five knots, light winds, uh, and uh, visibility 10 miles, thermals 500 feet per minute. So I guess that's fine. It's 3:52 a.m. local time. So let's set the time up to I don't know 6 6:37. Give us some light so we can see some of these other aircraft. And so with winds out of, what do they say, two, 215, um, a runway orientation of 22 left should be just fine of 220 degrees approximately. That will set us up for a 10 nautical mile final. Let's go. I say we do a touch and go and then come around uh, for a full stop landing. Okay. 6.30 a.m. allegedly. Let's find uh, runway first of all. Runway lights are on. We are below glide. That's good. I'm going to go from flaps 2 to flaps 5. And uh, let's go with auto brakes 2. Arm the speed brake. And uh, set the decision height to 200 feet. And let's go to flaps... 10, I believe that would be. Now, uh, gear down, flaps 15. Okay. I wonder if it looks like maybe slightly below glide now. Flaps 25. Now, flaps 30, and good news or bad news, depending on how you look at it, I don't really see any other, oh, actually, there is an aircraft uh, at the threshold, maybe ready to take okay, off, so I'm going to start decreasing power here. Well, we need to kind of get down above the black slope. That aircraft is not moving. It'd be fine if he if he took off now. But uh, that doesn't appear to be his plan. So we'll see what happens here. I'm not going to bother with all this. I just want to get in here and get out. So uh, I will probably disregard that aircraft regardless of what it does. So no big deal. Oh yeah, we were going to do a touch and go. You don't need auto brakes or uh, speed brake uh, for a touch and go, do you? We got just messed all this up, but uh, got distracted for a second doing all that, so... Let's get back on glide, and it looks like there's another aircraft. What is he doing? Um, not completely sure. All right, let's see here. Do my best to get back on track here, and uh, we'll see how successful I was. 
Not seeing the winds here. I suppose that's good news and bad news. Bouncy landing. Take off again. Positive rate right gear up. down a little bit we're gonna be going over the water here and then I figure we'll just take a turn back fly a little traffic pattern here let me take the power down approximate climb thrust start putting back in back out taking back out some flaps rather and uh, little flaps one here and now flaps up all right. Start making our turn here. We'll level out at about 2,000 feet. We'll watch our bank angle here. Put in some trim here to help us uh, stay level. Not sure I'm doing myself any favors here. Okay, that was direct, direct Alpha Romeo Sierra, is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. the airport there. Southwest 737 coming in. Short final. Don't see that every day at uh, CPH for sure. All right. power setting. Just allowed the nose to drop there a bit. More than anticipated. So we're going to come out here, take a little tour of this uh, island area here. And uh, I'm going to turn around. This is on the side of the city where the bridge is located, if I recall. Map here. Can it just 
to drop a little bit because we are at 2,200 feet and I'd said we wanted to say it about 2,000. Let off enough speed on our own without the aid of the flaps, so let's go to flaps one. And now uh, flaps two, which is practically useless on the 737, but I digress. Now flaps five, and uh, I'm going to put in a lot of power, and let's make our turn. And let's put in some uh, elevator trim here. to balloon up a little bit, so we're going to get that down as well, along with our speed. Our hello, uh, WC-691-130, uh, descending from level 70. Yeah. Yep, WC-901, thank you, it's morning, that's the power rate, I call it back. Attention, make sure it's idle, but those strong ways, while I'm on our index sensor. All right, so... The airport should be maybe just ahead of us. Let's take a look here. Oops. Oh yeah. All right, so we're gonna sort of, I guess, Take a little jaunt to the left towards that island over there and then uh, come back. But we can go ahead and continue our descent or at least stop gaining altitude and speed. And uh, let's cut the power here. And raise the nose a bit to allow that speed to decay. And uh, we'll go to flaps 10. And we can, I guess, start making a turn towards the airport now. And we'll go full stop landing this time. So auto brakes two again. Speed brake would really mean it this time. Last time was just for practice. And now, uh, Go ahead and go gear down. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was just to make that turn, and I kind of distracted myself. So we're gonna just kind of zigzag our way towards the airport here. This will be entertaining. All right. Flaps 25 and flaps 30 will be our final flap setting and it looks like we are below the light so I'm going to put in plenty of power here to sort of arrest our rate of descent. Now 
we have plenty of time to get this straight. Landed on the same runway that we landed on before. And I'm sure we'll be contending with aircraft yet again. And, uh, that's fine. That is a British Airways 777, which is about to not be a 777 anymore. It's about to lose at least one of his sevens, I'm afraid. Wow, that is a uh, very interesting airmanship there. Of course, my airmanship is a little bit suspect as well at this point. Certainly not doing myself very proud with all these bouncy landings and uh, dodgy flying here. So let's try and make this a decent landing at least. No altitude call out, so I guess we're just gonna just gonna eyeball this. Alrighty. Still not terribly buttery, but that's okay. What kind of aircraft is that ahead here? Two lane highway. And he continues to, to, uh, oh, wow. Yeah, that was a, uh, a Cirrus jet there. Lovely. All right, let's say we uh, taxi to a gate and then call it a day. Tried to avoid him. Certainly doesn't want to fall that time. Zero one zero, just be six hundred one. And I seriously doubt. Uh, Runway four right, I suppose that was would have been the active runway, given the winds. So, all right, where are the gates? I really hope that I am moving in the right direction here. Oh yeah, gates are over there. So, taxi lights uh, on, and the uh, landing lights off. Let's make sure the view is off. We don't, we don't think we're going to keep this aircraft running. We're just going to turn everything off, and... Uh, I don't know why the center fuel pumps are on, because we don't have any fuel in the center tanks. Uh, the about about it's a, uh, started with about bell. 15 tons, which isn't even that much yeah, in the left or right tanks. And uh, we certainly don't need the APU generator on. And we yeah, 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 And, oh yeah. Flaps are still at 30, so uh, that does back to zero. Cool. Taxiing at 18 knots ground speed. Two zero 
cleared IOF 19, we'll report established at speed 691. Certainly should have had its wings sheared off, given its uh, trajectory there towards the ground. Good morning, I'm China I saw Nanner, maintain flight level 380, that's who I call. I guess we're crossing runway 12 slash 30. Anybody taking off? No. All right. Let's just power through this intersection here. We are taxiing a bit fast. I'm going to slow it down just a tad. And that looks like maybe, is that a, that's an Alaska 737. We're seeing all sorts of weird aircraft here in this massive multi to Copenhagen. Now, I'm just going to find a gate here. Might as well park next to the Alaska. Or at least near the Alaska. 455. Good evening, Is there a gate on the other side of him, maybe? Please don't back out right now. Let me, uh... Morning, Chinese, the 219, I'm going to level 3, A0. Good morning, Chinese, the 219, I'm going to level 3, A0. Whoops. This is going to be a decent parking job. Hope I didn't just jink myself. Let's see. Oh yeah. Slow down a little bit. We just send level one one zero six one to one express. All right. Don't know if I ended up anywhere near the line there, but parking brakes on, and let's uh. Cut the engines and uh four five five, yes, and I eight four nine uh today. Fast and seagull sign off, okay. I'm gonna cut the engine generator and I eight four nine, I mean this level three and zero, that's two welcome.